Looking at it. What's going on? It's your pal Tommy, and I'm all by myself tonight. It's a rainy Tuesday night. It's hot out, and uh, Wing Chef Ryan and Donnie the Cleaner, they can't join me this week. They have too much work going on and stress and all that stuff, but hey, I'm not going to let you down. You know what? We just posted uh, on our Wing Addicts blog on wingaddicts.com. We just talked about the health benefits of wings. So you know what? I'm going to work from Tommy Wyatt's kitchen tonight, and uh, don't expect too much, but we're going to go for healthy wings, healthy choice wings. Yes, it is true. So what we've done is I came across this product called Wing Dust. All right, check this out. Wing Dust. And um, I decided to buy them all. There was 11 flavors. I bought them all. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, some of Ryan's. Uh, I, I have some, check this out. I have some nice... I have some nice chicken wings here, raw, fresh out of Wing Chef Ryan's brine. Got them all tapped, dried off, tapped off, and we're going to cook them in the air fryer, and we're going to use wing dust, and we're going to see how that thing works. Uh, oh, shoot. Hang on one second. Almost forgot to get my uniform on. <laughs> well, here we go. Got the air fryer going on, uh, put it on uh, 450 degrees for 20 minutes. I don't think I'm going to use the whole 20 minutes, but let's see how that goes. I'm going to take these bad boys and put them in right now. Okay, so here they are. I got them into the air fryer basket. I am not going to put anything on them as far as spices are concerned. We've got the brine going. And let's come over here and open up the Ninja. Oh, it's singing. In goes the wings. Goodbye. And the countdown is on. Let's see how these bad boys come out. Wings up. So while these are cooking, let's talk about wing dust a little bit. We've got a, we've got a honey barbecue, a buffalo, ghost pepper, seven pepper facelift, and then I got the kicked up Cajun, garlic parm, chili lime, salt and vinegar. And tonight I'm going to break these up into threes. And we're going to, we're going to do a, a, a little load of buffalo hot, Nashville hot chicken. And then we're going to do lemon pepper in those bowls. So I guess you cook them naked, throw them in those bowls, dust them up, and let's see how that goes. Let's talk about healthy. Calories zero in this stuff. Um, okay, serving side was a half a teaspoon, zero fat, zero cholesterol, there's a little sodium in there, zero carbs, zero sugars, no protein, look at the zeros, and all that stuff, I don't know, I'm not a, you know, a health guy, but it just looks like a lot of spices to me, so it's probably pretty healthy, let's give it a shot. Okay, just about 10 minutes in, let's give them a little check. Ooh, they're cooking up nice. You hear them? They're sizzling away. All right, they're not ready. Okay, so we got the wings. They're out. They look great. I've got three bowls here. We're going to kind of mix them up a little bit. We've got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five in there. We'll do buffalo hot. we got one, two, three, four, five in there for Nashville hot. And then we've got, man, these are little. Look at that little guy. So little. Uh, and we'll do lemon pepper. And you know what? We don't make our own blue cheese in this restaurant. We use Marie's Chunky Blue Cheese. Love you, Marie. I don't even know you. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I guess, we're going to just... look. At, can you see in there? It's like orange. We're going to take a little scooper for the hot buffalo, and we're going to... Pop it on there like that. Dust them up. One. Nashville next. Oh, it smells good. And then we're going lemon pepper. Wing dust, baby. Trying out our wing dust. All right, there it is. I see him do this in all the big restaurants we go to. Here we go. Uh, 
I'm sneezing from the wing dust. But I use too much dust, of course. But this is the buffalo. Hot buffalo. We'll put them on a plate. Sorry about the green plates. This restaurant only has green. The white ones are in the dishwasher. Nashville hot. Look at these. You know what? A little drizzle of something would be cool. And these lemon peppers. I used a tablespoon of the powder on each one of these and it was too much. Way too much. Oh, they smell really good. Let's do it! Oh man, so here's the best part. Time to eat. Uh, going with the buffalo first. I think I used way too much powder. I'm dipping because I'm scared. I might come back for round two if it's not so bad. Oh man, air fryer does it every time. That is cooked perfectly. I'll tell you what. It's a buffalo flavor. It's a tasty, enjoyable buffalo wing. There's a stack up to the buffalo wings dripping with sauce. Did I get in my favorite places? No, but you know what? I guess it beats a heart attack. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know what, it's, it's tasty, it works. My mouth right now has got some burn to it, like when you have a good buffalo. It's a dry rub. So the buffalo hot, buffalo hot, we started with. It's pretty good. Um, now I'm gonna go with Nashville hot, keep the, uh, a little hot theme going. I'm gonna try this one without any blue cheese. Hmm. That's a nice flavor. I like that. I like that better than the buffalo. And you know what this reminds me of? When we go out as the wing addicts, going to restaurants, I've never been a big dry rub guy. Um, I always feel they are kind of similar, just too over salty and really not much to them. But you know, there's, there's a great Nashville hot flavor to that. That, that is, that's, it is what it says it is. And I'm dying to try. So there's Nashville hot chicken. So I guess we can put this on anything. You don't have to just put it on wings. You know, now I'm just going in with this one. Lemon pepper, and I'm excited about it because some of the best lemon pepper wings I've had were all dry rubs. Let's find out. Hmm. Lemony, peppery. Tasty. It's a, it's a great lemon pepper wing. So I'll tell you what, if you can't get out to your favorite place or you're trying to get healthy or lose weight or whatever, you know what? Keto. A lot of people are into that keto diet. Keto is uh, no carb, high fat. There's no carbs here. There's none. You can eat these chicken wings for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and get skinny. <laughs> I'm not interested in being skinny. So, uh, wing dust. Who knew? We've got eight more flavors that need to be tried. I can't wait to do it. I'm not going to do it today. But I'll say this. This stuff's good. If you're, a, if you're a dry rub person or you're into health, get it. Try it. I recommend it. And uh, you know what? If you're watching this and you've got some home recipes that you like, tell us about them. We'd love to hear what, you know... Very few people make their own sauce at home. It's always usually a combination of this and that and the other thing. And even in a lot of restaurants where they have to use, you know, the Frank's Red Hot or the Sweet Baby Ray's and mix and match and do all the things. There's no, there's no crime in mixing up flavors to come up with something awesome. Love to hear about your favorite ones. Wings up, everybody.